Hello, welcome to Cutter PTCG here. Today I'm doing a deck profile of Greninja, the eighth spot in my top ten. Uh, I think I said that Vicabolt was my eighth spot. Uh, actually, this video is coming out before Vicabolt, but still, whatever. Um, here's the profile. Thank you. For post rotation Greninja. Um, I think the Talon Flame is definitely the way to go, undoubtedly, for this format. Um, it speeds things up so much, and if you don't start it with it, it's not a big deal, but it, still, still, just, um, er, its ability, if you don't know what it is, uh, if it's in your hand, when you're setting up to play, you can put it as your active, even though it's a stage two. Um, and we don't play any of its pre-evolutions, um, I actually considered playing one Fletchling, because I already put Rare Candies in the deck. So if you want, if you don't like the Talon Flame Break, I wouldn't actually mind putting in a Fletchling. Um, but I think the Talon Flame Break is pretty good because Aerial Blitz for 80 can kill a Bellum. Um, and anything else is weak to fire if your opponent is playing some weird obscure deck. Um, three Froakie, um, Bubble Froakie, you, no other Froakie is as good as Bubble Froakie. Um, only three because you don't want to start out with him, and because a Frogadier is how you get out your Pokemon. Um, you can set your deck for up to three Frogadier and bench them. Uh, so that's kind of why you only play three Froakie. Aside from that, you don't want to start with it as often. Um, for Greninja, um, this Greninja specifically, um, I actually tested out one promo Greninja, the, uh, I think it was an Evolutions promo. Um, I don't like it just because of the retreat cost. If it had a free retreat cost, I would probably play one or two of it. But I, I don't. I just can't get behind it otherwise. Uh, Greninja Break, Giant Water Shuriken. You can discard a Water Energy from your hand and deal 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, yeah, 170 HP. So even just the HP. Uh, and it's a bait or it's a non GX so. It's, uh, only one prize. And then, one Tapu Lele and one Espeon. The Tapu Lele is pretty obvious for Wonder Tag. Uh, Energy Drive is not a bad attack. Um, an Espeon EX, um, for Miraculous, bleh, can't talk, Miraculous Shine. Um, you devolve as many of your opponent's Pokemon, um, from, from the highest stage. So, especially in a format where rare candy is super, um, super relevant because you can devolve them to their, their basic form with a giant water shuriken or something on them, and they die. Like, I won a game in a, a league cup, I think it was, with a Ninetales deck with an Espeon because all of his Pokemon, he was playing Metagross actually, um, didn't get set up very well. But all of his Pokemon had been rare candied, and they had two uh, Ice Blades on each of them. They each had 100 damage on it. So I devolved all of his Pokemon to basics, and he didn't have any other Pokemon. Uh, actually, he might have had a Rare Murray, but... Uh, seven Water, we don't have a Secret or Water Energy yet, and... Yeah, so these are ugly, I'm sorry. Uh, three Splash. I tested it with Four Splash. But then the giant water shuriken is harder to pull off. Um, if you want to play four splash, I would take out the Espeon EX for something else, um, because it's less relevant when the the less you use giant water shuriken. Four N and th only three sycamore because you don't want to discard as many resources. Um, two Guzma. Um, it's especially good in this deck because. Everything except for Tapu Lele and Espeon have free retreat. So, one Wally to evolve your Pokemon, one Skyla, uh, one Kakui, and one Fisherman. Fisherman is to get your water energy out. Four Ultra Ball and two Rare Candy. Uh, you don't want to use Rare Candy that much, because uh, Frogadier is better. Um, <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Sorry about that. Evo Soda to evolve your Pokemon, especially Frogadiers, when you have three or four on the bench without any other evolutions. Two Field Blower, because Garbodor's still a pain in the ass. Sorry, uh, for any PG people. 
uh, to Max Potion because, uh, if you don't know what, uh, Moonlight, Moonlight Slash does, uh, you can return a water energy attached to it to your hand. Also, Shadow Stitching, notably, is good because it does 40 damage and prevents your opponent's abilities next turn. Oh, another thing I should mention. You can use Moonlight Slash's effect to return a Splash Energy to your hand, but you cannot Giant Water Shirt gain a Splash Energy. So, um, Max Potion, because you can return the Energy Super Rod, uh, two SU Stretcher, and, ooh, and two Choice Bane. I think I said two Rescue Stretcher. I meant. One rescue stretcher, two choice band, uh, choice band to add the damage, and rescue stretcher to set up more ninjas. So this is the eighth base, base can't talk, eighth best deck in standard format post rotation. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, tell me what deck I should profile next after I get done with all the uh, top tens. Uh, bye bye.